Hey, welcome to the show. He's Josh Getzoff. I'm Andy Balnoski, and tonight we got a special show on the NCAA Lacrosse Championship. And Josh, good to see you, man. How's it going? Pretty good. Happy Memorial Day. Yes, I do. Uh, probably a barbecue we missed down on today, yes. but we're going to get some tonight, especially tonight. For <laughs> fans in upstate New York, the dream title game almost happened between Cornell and Syracuse. The Big Red lost to Duke on Saturday, ending that dream matchup, but that still didn't negate their star-studded season. Take a look back at Cornell in 2013. Five years as fast as they could pass through my, my head at that point. You know, it's been a special five years. Never quit, you know, and I'll give our guys credit. They never did. You know, we faced a, a great deal of adversity, but, um, you know, we never stopped believing. I came back to win a national championship at the end of the day. You know, I'll leave Cornell with 15 new best friends. Be part of something this special and uh, to have come back. With a group of 15 other seniors, you know, leaving our legacy on Cornell. About that title game, Duke versus Syracuse this afternoon. First goal of the game, Cuse gets it. Billy Ward puts the orange out to an early lead. Then Kevin Rice going twice as nice here, wrap it around to make it happen. Syracuse rocking early on. They led 6-1, to one, but here comes the Duke, the team that took out Cornell. Josh Dion wide open. Yeah, that's a no-brainer right there. Jordan Wolf, Werewolves of London. Uh -oh. Oh. Give it up for the Wolfman. Stops, pops, and scores. Blue Devils within one. Now this one was tied in the third until Josh off it. You know, get off of this one. Rocket fire from deep out. Duke goes on a 12-1 run to finish the game. They win 16-10. It's their second national title ever. Now Josh, the all-NCAA lacrosse team announced Cornell's Rob Pinnell makes it along with four Syracuse players on the list. Rounded out by, get this name, Dom Lomely Arna for the Orange. It's a tough day, a but nice job. he made the team. Sports Info with Syracuse's 17th appearance in the NCAA title game. They've won 11 of those, so not bad at all. And Josh, over 28,000 strong down there in Philadelphia for a, uh, a great attendance mark. That was a great, great tournament, and congrats mm -hmm. to Duke winning it all. Mm -hmm. Well, Josh, Cornell, their season is done, but they aren't the only college team in Ithaca vying for that national championship. That's right, Andy. The Ithaca College Bombers. Yes, the baseball team is in the D3 College World Series, and today they had only one option, win. Bombers playing for their season against top-ranked Linfield, top five, tied at three. That's about to change. Vinny Gino bloops one into right, scores one. Ithaca takes the four to three lead. Gino went to Ithaca High School. Pretty cool. Gino. Top six now. Bombers again strike with two outs. Tim LaCastro rips a single through the hole in left. Five three Ithaca. And hey, how about some insurance? Colby G with the chopper up the middle. Check out the great slide by Timmy Henry to break up the double play. Scores a big run in the top of the ninth. Bombers win at 6-4. They'll play Southern Maine Tuesday morning, and they are pumped to keep on playing. Obviously, we can't lose at this point. And Linfield coming in undefeated. They seem to be the team to beat out here. Went out there, adjusted myself, threw the pitches I needed to. Um, the bats came back, won it, and it feels great to be moving on. All right. Well, you know what else feels great right here? Yeah. This Ithaca College penny here. Both Josh and I, proud Ithaca College alums. Go Best bombers. of luck to the Bombers, man. But I'll tell you, we're, we're pulling for them. Yeah, we are. Go yeah. Bombers. <laughs> Take it home. <laughs> Take it home. We're taking the pennant with us. We're getting some barbecue. We're going to do that. But uh, before that, Joe's going to have a last look at your weather after the break.